Wait for it. What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce, and today is August 31st of 2022, the last day of August. Tomorrow starts September, and guys, something really amazing happened today. My kids went back to school. They're finally back in school. Even though it's a short week, they're only going today and tomorrow. And then they get Friday and Monday off because, you know, Labor Day. But then they're back. Then they're finally back full time and I cannot wait. It gives me a little bit more time to dedicate to YouTube, which I'm really excited about because I have some ideas that I want to put out that are different than just must-have pickups and comic book speculation, which is super exciting for me. So guys, strap in and get ready because the kids are back in school. But... Guys, it's comic book speculation recommendations. That's today's video. Guys, with today be a new comic book day, you guys are probably out picking up your brand new comics. But guys, I'm using my noggin right here to look ahead to this upcoming weekend's final order cutoff and next week's new comic book day and trying to figure out what the best books to speculate on so that way we can start and make this hobby fun itself. Now, with all speculation videos, guys, we need to give you guys some caveats. I need to give you my reminders that I give you guys each and every single week. So, if you guys are new to comic book speculation or you're new to this video series, stick around and hear my two reminders. But if you guys are those seasoned speculators, you guys do it all the time, or you guys have seen this video series before, go ahead and look down in the description below. You guys will see final order caught off speculation. You guys can go ahead and skip forward to that. But if you guys are new to speculation or new to this video series, Stick around and hear out my two reminders. The first reminder that I tell you guys about each and every single week is the biggest and most important. So guys, please open up your ears and listen to me. Guys, speculation is educated guesses. I am taking my personal knowledge of comic books and making some educated guesses on what I think is going to do well on the secondary market in the future. But what I highly suggest to you guys is go check out the comic book YouTubers you trust, other comic book websites that you trust, and other comic book apps that you trust. Gather the most information possible so that way you guys can make the best decisions possible for yourself. Because remember, you're spending your own hard-earned money on these books. Not my money, your money. Now the second and final reminder that I have for you guys, it's simple, it's easy guys. There are delays in comic books. So sometimes the book will show up multiple times in my final order cutoff section or multiple times in my new comic book day speculation section and that is because the release date for that book got pushed for one reason or another. So that is my final reminder. Let's go ahead and dive in to final order cutoff speculation. All right, guys, first up, we're going to talk about Final Order Cutoff Speculation. Now, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these books, you guys will need to get your orders in by September 4th for your DC Scout and Vault books and September 5th for your Marvel and all the other indie publishers. Now, how we do Final Order Cutoff Speculation and New Comic Book Day Speculation, I first go over my cover lover picks, which are books that I think might do well on the secondary market based on the cover art alone, and then I'm going to dive into all the books that have speculation on Final Order Cutoff, and then at the end of that, I will give you my Final Order Cutoff spec picks of the week. So let's not waste any more time and dive into those cover lover picks. All right, guys, we only have one book on my cover lover section for Final Order Cutoff. Over the last few months, there really hasn't been that many amazing covers on Final Order Cutoff. They usually land right before a new comic book day. But guys, the one cover that I want to show you is Gun Honey, Blood for Blood, number one, the second print, which is done by Art Germ. It is a gorgeous cover. I really like this cover. I can see this book doing pretty well on the secondary market down the line. I don't think it's going to do really good out of the gate. But, you know, in a few years' time, I think people might find this cover but ooh, this is really, really nice. So that's why this book is my cover lover pick of the week. Guys, what did you guys think of my pick? Guys, let me know down in the comments if you like it or you don't like it. Or if there's a book that you like better, let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, with our cover lover pick out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into all the books that had speculation landing on this weekend's fun order cutoff. All right, guys, the first book up on Final Order Cutoff is a book that's been on Final Order Cutoff for what feels like forever, and that is Old Dog Number 1. It's been delayed over and over again, so it's still on Final Order Cutoff. Now, the solicitation reads, On the eve of retirement, looking back at a failed career, a former CIA operative is tasked with one final mission, and that goes 
horribly wrong. Next up is Edge of Spider-Verse number five. Now this has three first appearances. It has the first appearance of Web Weaver, the first gay alternate universe Spider-Man, the first appearance of Hunter Spider, and the first appearance of a spider created by Phil Lord, Christopher Miller, the directors of Into the Spider-Verse. Next up is Hulk number nine with the first appearance of Monolith, the ruler of a society built for Hulks by Hulks. Next up is Miracle Man Zero. This is a one-shot anthology of stories reintroducing Miracle Man. Next up is Spider-Man number one. Now this series continues from the Edge of Spider-Verse series from 2022 and it's going to have new Spider-Verse characters in it and this also reintroduces Morloon. And the last book on Fun Order Cutoff that I think you guys might want to consider is Night of the Ghoul number one. Now this is not on the Key Collector app but I think you guys might want to consider it because it is written by Scott Snyder. And there have been a few Scott Snyder books that have been optioned as of late. If you think of Noctera, and also Undiscovered Country. So guys, do not sleep on Scott Snyder's books. So, all right guys, those are all the books on Final Order Cutoff that have speculation. Now stick around and find out what my spec picks of the week are. All right guys, there are two books on Final Order Cutoff that I'm gonna suggest to you guys this week. And the first one up is Edge of Spider-Verse number five. Now there are three first appearances in it. There is the Spider Weaver character, the Hunter Spider character, but the character that I think is going to be the spec worthy character is the character that is created by Christopher Miller and Phil Lord, who are the directors of Into the Spider-Verse. So don't you think that the directors of a movie who are putting a character in this book might want to put their character in their movie? Maybe? I think that is a great bet. So that is the main reason why I think you guys want to consider Edge of the Spider-Verse number five. Now, the other book that I think you guys might want to consider, and do your own research, please do, is Spider-Man number one, which is another Spider-Verse book, and they say they're going to have new Spider-Verse characters in it. And guys, spider characters just do well on the secondary market. Now, not all the characters do well, but there is a good chance there's going to be a cool character in there that is going to do well. Now, I would say pick up the Scotty Young version of Spider-Man number one, and you guys will have a good book on your hands. I would say pick up multiple copies or Edge of Spider-Verse number five because it has that character created by the directors of Into the Spider-Verse. Those are the two books that I think you guys might want to consider. Now let's go ahead and dive into new comic book day speculation. All right guys, we're talking about new comic book day speculation for September 7th of 2022. And just as a reminder, we're gonna go over my covered lover picks. There are four, and then we'll dive into all the books that have speculation that are on the Key Collector app. And then at the end of that, I will give you my spec picks of the week for new comic book day. So let's go ahead and dive into those cover lover picks. All right, guys, the first cover that I want to show you guys is for Ninjets number one. Now, this is the Comic Kingdom Ivan Tao exclusive cover, and this book is spitting out of Jennifer Blood from Dynamite Comics. This cover is just so gorgeous, and what really sells it for me is the fact that Ivan Tao does not have to draw the face of the girl. She's got a mask on, and I just personally think he struggles when he has to draw the face, but guys, this cover is gorgeous. I love the pink splash in the background, and the character just looks absolutely badass. I love this cover and I think it might do well on the secondary market in the future. And the next cover up is for Poison Ivy number four. This is the cover C Sozomaka cover. It's gorgeous. I love Sozomaka and she makes Poison Ivy looks absolutely amazing. And the next cover up after that is a book that's been on Final Order Card of Spec and then now it's finally landing on New Comic Book Day. It actually might have been on last week. I can't remember. But it is Spawn number 333, the cover A done by Francisco Martina. This is absolutely gorgeous and I think Spawn collectors are going to want this cover, especially new Spawn collectors in the future when they're diving into spawn for the first time this cover is just absolutely amazing and the last cover that i want to show you guys is for all out avengers number one the scotty young cover if you guys are not buying scotty young covers when they come out you guys are missing out as an easy chance to get make some extra cash in the future the scotty young covers just do well on the secondary market not every single cover does extremely well but a lot of them do really well and i think this one featuring blade is absolutely badass i will be picking up multiple covers of this because it is just so cool looking all right guys those are all my cover lover picks for this upcoming new comic book day let's go ahead and run through all the books on the key collector app that has spec 
The first book up is Until My Knuckles Bleed, One Deadly Shot, number one, from the writer of Netflix Polar, a former 90s superhero seeks redemption by confessing one of the darkest stories of the most extreme of superhero ages about his old team, the CIA and the buried creature in the heart of Europe. Next up is Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, number four, with the first possible full appearance of the Red Canary. Next up is Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, number four, with the possible first cameo appearance of the revolution. Next up is last line number one. A simple city employee gets caught up in a conspiracy that reveals an interplanetary travel system buried deep beneath the London underground. Next up is Star Trek 400th issue, celebrating 400 issues published by IDW. Next up is Dark Knights of Steel, Tales of the Three Kingdoms, number one. This is a one shot that takes place in the Dark Knights of Steel alternate universe. Next up is Blade in the Dark, number one. The sole survivor of a village seeks revenge. How is that speculation? Next up is Anitalk, number one. A king from a lost continent enters the world of man with a purpose to stop us from killing the planet. Next up is Ninjites, number one. This series spins off from the Jennifer Blood title. Next up is Shock Shop, number one. This is an anthology of horror stories hosted by a creepy comic shop owner who runs a haunted store. Next up is Sabrina Anniversary Spectacular number one with the first appearance of Amber Nightstone, an evil witch born at the same time as Sabrina. Next up is Black Adam, The Justice Society Files, Adam Smasher number one. This is a one shot prequel to the Black Adam film. Again, why is that speculation? Next up is Batman Dear Detective number one. This is a one shot featuring cover art by Lee Bermejo woven into a linear story. Next up is X-Men and Moon Girl number one. This is a one shot team up of Wolverine and Moon Girl. Next up is Alien number one, the premiere issue of the second Alien series published by Marvel. Next up is Wolverine number 24. This has the possible first full appearance of the Hellbride of the Hand. Next up is Black Panther number nine with the first appearance of the Colonist, a galactic interloper, and also the possible first cameo or first full of Buffalo Soldier, a lieutenant of the Colonist. And the final book on the Key Collector app that has speculation coming out on next week's new comic book day is Flashpoint Beyond number five, The Origin of the Clockwork Killer. All right, guys, I'm going to go back over all those books and give you guys my spec picks of the week for next week's new comic book day. All right, guys, after going over that list one more time, there were a lot of books that had speculation that was okay, but a lot of the new first appearances seemed to be villains. But there was one book with a first appearance that I believe this character is going to be our hero. And if that hero is introduced in a good way, that character could have legs. And I'm talking about Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, number four, with the possible first full appearance of the Red Canary. Now, I have not read issue number three, which is supposed to be her cameo, but guys, if this is a hero, this would probably be the best book to speculate on because this character will stick around after the event. But a lot of these other first appearances on this list seem to be villains, and villains come and go. There are a dime a dozen characters, but if DC is introducing this character, and I've seen some of the character designs for this, she looks really cool. This character could stick around for a while, which gives this character a chance to be cool. And if people gravitate towards this character, and she is really cool, then this could be the best bet on Final Order cutoff for speculation. Now, is this a long shot? I would 100% say yes. I don't think this book is going to blow up, but that is speculation. It's educated guesses. I am taking the info that I have and I'm giving you guys what I think is the best bet. But guys, let me know down in the comments if you think this book is terrible. It's trash. You should not be speculating on it. Or if you guys kind of agree, let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, that is it for Final Order caught up in New Comic Day. Let's go ahead and finish this video up. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. You guys are legends. Now, I would love to hear from you guys. This is the only second time that I've gone through every single book on New Comic Day that has speculation. Now, I would love to know if you guys like that or if you guys dislike that. Because before that, I was keeping the video shorter by only giving you my spec picks. But by going over every single book, it does make the video a little bit longer. But it gives you guys all the information, especially if you guys do not have the Key Collector app. So, so let me know down in the comments if you're liking that or not liking that. Also, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, get yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notification and smash that like button. And last but not least, before we sign off for today, if you'd like to help support Stephanie and I just a little bit more, you guys can become channel members for just $4.99 a month, and that gets you an entry into our end of the month giveaway, which will go to one lucky channel member, and it is a mystery box filled with 15 or more comics worth at least $50 or more. 
and that is my thank you for supporting Stephanie and I. And one little note on that, you guys could win month after month if your name comes up on the wheel month after month. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the very, very end. And the next 10 seconds are for my amazing 11 channel members. And I will see you guys on Tuesday, not Monday, because Monday is Labor Day. So guys, have a great long Labor Day weekend, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.